I want you to close your eyes for just a second. I want you to imagine that you're coming back from an evening where you hung out with your family, you were with your friends, maybe you were at a celebration, you're driving home, it's late at night, and out of nowhere, boom, a car comes, you get hit, life is over. Are you certain today that you're going to heaven? Do you know where you're spending your eternity? Is it in heaven with Jesus? Or is it in hell apart from him? Have you ever confessed that you're a sinner and you struggle with sin? And have you ever confessed with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and Savior? Because now is the time to do it. We don't have time to wait anymore. You can look around and see that the world is falling apart and craziness is ensuing and the end is near and I don't want you left behind. It's all written in the Bible. Jesus is coming back soon. Have you repented? Have you gotten right before the Lord? Have you prayed? Have you prayed the prayer of salvation? Because if you haven't, I would love to lead you through that right now. If you are not certain that you would make heaven, if you've prayed before but you're unsure of where you stand with God, what your relationship with Jesus is like, are you making it to heaven? I want to lead you in this prayer right now. Receiving salvation is as simple as A, B, C. A, you have to admit that you're a sinner and that you've sinned and you fall short of the glory of God. B, you have to believe in Jesus because it's not enough to believe in God. Even the demons believed in God. And C, you have to confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, that he is the Son of God and that he has died for your sins. So if you are uncertain about where you're spending eternity, I want you to go ahead and bow your head and close your eyes and say this prayer with me. Don't worry about anybody around you because this isn't about them. This is between you and Jesus. Let's lift up our hands and say this prayer together. Heavenly Father, I admit that I have sinned. Please forgive me. Wash me in the blood of Jesus. Make me clean. From this day forward, I turn my back on sin. From today, I live for you. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. I believe he died on the cross and rose on the third day, and he is the Son of God. Wash me in the blood of Jesus. Where I am weak, make me strong, Lord. I will never be the same. I will turn my back on sin. I will receive your Holy Spirit because Jesus is Lord. I pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you prayed that with me, I believe you have been saved. You have been born again in the mighty resurrection power of Jesus. And you are now a part of the kingdom family. You are now a son of God or a daughter of God. And more importantly, you are a new creation in Christ. Amen. So now that you are a new creation in Christ, that you are a new person, the old you has died and passed away and the new you is here, it's time to press into that new walk, in that new life that you are living going forward today. And I have a few things we need to make sure of to help you out on this journey. First and foremost, I want you to type saved in the comments. Type save right now. Let us know that you just gave your life to Christ so we can celebrate you. And so specifically, I can come alongside your journey and support you. And you can show that outward profession of faith in Jesus Christ. Type saved right now in the comments. Next, you need to get plugged into your local church. 
I'm not sure where you are, where you're hearing this, listening to this, professing this new life today. So if you need help getting plugged in, you could go into Google, type in local churches near me. Now this is very important. You need to make sure you are at a strong church that is founded on biblical doctrine. We're not looking for any of these soft churches, these woke churches, progressive churches. You want a Bible affirming church that believes that the Bible is the inerrant word of God, that everything that was written was inspired by the Lord himself and written in a holy manner for us to live our life by. Now, if you're not sure where to start, if you don't know how to get plugged in locally, I have two churches near me that I'd be happy to set you up with where you can at least start going to church in an online manner and get plugged into these online ministries and small groups to strengthen your walk in the Lord and have the accountability and support you will desperately need going forward, just like I do, just like all your brothers and sisters do. And that is Cypress Church, right here. I'll also link their information inside of the comments in Shoreline Church, right here. Both of these churches affirm the word of God. They are God-fearing churches. They profess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. They believe the word is the way that we are supposed to live. And I know they would help you on your journey as you look to get plugged into the body before you make that greater commitment in your local community. Next thing you need to do, and maybe it's obvious, if you don't have one, you need to get yourself a Bible. I recommend the ESV version or the King James version. I believe those to be the most sound, but at the end of the day, the Holy Spirit is with you now and he will reveal the truth of scripture to you. So if you end up getting a different version of the Bible, you just pray to the Holy Spirit to reveal his truth to you every time you crack open the word and you just make sure you get in the word on a daily basis so you can get to know the character of God and so you can see how you you should be moving forward. This final piece may be one of the most difficult things you have to do going forward, but it's going to be to draw a line in the sand. That's with your family, that's with your friends, that's just in your life in general. You are now born again in a new creation. The old you has died. The old temptation should not be flirted with anymore. The old lifestyle that separated you from Christ should be left behind you so you can press forward in a holy manner, in a righteous manner, in a way that honors God and honors the salvation you have received today. And I'm not saying that's going to be easy. It's really not. You're going to have temptations on a daily basis. Jesus was tempted in the wilderness three different times, fasted for 40 days. And the point is temptation will always be there. But when you draw the line in the sand, you are saying the old me has died and the new me has risen thanks to Jesus and what he did on the cross. And my life is going to be an honor and a reflection of that going forward. Am I going to be perfect every day? Absolutely not. Am I going to fall short in sin? Yes, you will. But the point is to repent and be renewed on a daily basis. Be in the word. Profess your love of Jesus Christ. Profess he's Lord and Savior. Get plugged into your local church as much as you can because those will be the new friendships and family and support that you are going to need should your family, should your friends not accept the transformation in Christ that you made today. You are going to need that support going forward. And we want to see you keep taking steps in holiness and righteousness so you can be a great example, so you can be salt on this earth, so you can be light in dark places, and so you can be a reflection of the King of Kings and the Lord Almighty. And the final matter for today is I'm so grateful that you are here and I would love to be part of your new walk. I would love to be one of the ministries that you are tied into and you sow into so I can also sow back into you. So what I would love and appreciate is if you hit the subscribe button right now, turn the post notifications on to all. That way you never miss a video, whether it's one of our shorts, whether it's commentary, whether it's a long form video, 
I am putting out content every day and every week that I truly believe the Holy Spirit is leading me in, and I pray that it will be a blessing to you. So if you subscribe to the channel, I would be so honored and grateful to come alongside you in your new faith walk. and. Share these videos, share this video specifically. Maybe you have a friend or a family member that also needs to be born again, that needs to die to their old self and welcome a new life in Christ. And if that is the case, I want you to share this video with them right now because this may be the only opportunity they have to have someone invite them in to the kingdom of heaven, to invite them in to receiving Jesus as their Lord and Savior. This may have been your one and only opportunity today, and it may be their one and only opportunity. And at the end of our lives, we want to know that we did everything we could to profess Jesus as Lord and make disciples of nations. So share this video with any of your loved ones. Let them know that you are celebrating, that you are born again in Christ. And hopefully, I pray that you are a shining example that will help lead them into repentance and into receiving salvation as well. And once again, if you haven't yet, type saved in the comments because that is not only how we can celebrate one new life coming to Christ, because the Bible says that even one new saved life creates a celebration in heaven amongst the Lord and the angels and everyone who is there. And we want to celebrate you. So make sure you type saved in the comments and I will personally reach out and start a conversation with you because you are now my brother or my sister in Christ. And I want to support you however I can. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And you are wonderfully, beautifully made by the Lord himself in his image. And I am just so excited and happy that you have that you have stepped into a new life today, into a new calling, and we are gonna get you connected into that new purpose. So brother or sister, thank you for choosing Jesus. Thank you for receiving salvation today. Congratulations for knowing that you have secured a spot in heaven, and now it is your responsibility to join the discipleship movement and go and make more disciples of people. Help get one more life saved. Sow seeds on a daily basis. Sow how you want to reap. Sow in abundance. Sow in love. Sow in grace and mercy and compassion and righteousness. And be the example that maybe you needed in your life so that someone else can make the same decision that you made today. I love you. God bless you. And I can't wait to see you in another video.